Hi everyone, Vortex TCG here, and today I'm going to be opening up some of probably the most divisive products that uh, Bandai has released as of recent, and it is going to be the Digimon Adventure Box 2. Um, these boxes have become a bit of a hot commodity, let's say, because they include alt hearts for the memory boosts that were supposed to be in the RBO1 set, but then was taken out for these boxes exclusively. So I'm going to be opening up two today and uh, let me know what you guys think about the Digimon Adventure boxes down below. So let's get straight into the box opening. Okay, so we've got two of the Digimon Adventure box two. I can't remember the last one. I think the last one was pretty bad, but uh, this one, as you can see, has the memory boost all arts that are supposed to be in the main set. It also has a little figure. It has a stand on it, I'm not too sure about that. And it also comes with four packs. Sorry about the glare, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be opening both these up. Um, when I ordered them, I couldn't pick the memory boosts, so I got a green and a yellow. Yellow's okay, I think green's pretty meh. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna open up one first, this one first. Uh, oh, this has tape on it. Good secure packaging Bandai, I guess. Um, Jesus. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, yeah, there you go. That works. So comes in the plastic slot here. And so let's have a look at that promo. Well, it's kind of stuck in there. Let's see if I can drop it that way. There we go. So what a beautiful card that looks. Wow. Just... Looks quite beautiful, I cannot lie. Um, I think all the artwork in these memory boosts are quite nice. So we also get this figure. I'm not too sure what this figure is supposed to, well, it's supposed to be a Tyranno one, obviously. Let's see if I can get it in focus, maybe. No, maybe that's in focus, but then it unfocuses. Well, this, like, does this work as a memory counter, maybe? Let's see. Can I take the bottom off it, maybe? No, but it feels like it's gonna fall off very easily if I was to use it as a memory counter, so. Good job, Bandai. All you need to do is just do a flat bottom and it would be okay. Um, and now we get to obviously the main, well not the main part, I'd say actually the main part is the memory boosts. Um, in my video when I was discussing the product or when I was talking about it online, I was saying that the, the promo cards are not gonna be that expensive, but it turns out in Bandai's wisdom, uh, it seems that these uh, adventure boxes that have the memory boosts in them have been, uh, let's just say, uh, short printed. <laughs> so uh, let's go into these packs now, shall we? So I've got four, they're all random, so they could be alt arts in here. So let's find out. Uh, I'm missing, still missing a lot of cards from this set. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to fill that up. So Kokaios for F, Logo, Aguni, Toy Agu, Sako, Gabu, Jelly, they tell. Samba, Angelmon, Devimon, and a Lilithmon. I actually need another Lilithmon, so that's good. What I actually learned about this set is that like the first couple of cards are the reprint cards, and then the next three are gonna be stuff from the new set. And then these ones are also gonna be reprints, but there's gonna be like one rare and one promo, I believe. So <laughs> I'm not too sure how I feel about that if I'm being perfectly honest, but uh, that is how the packs are going at the moment. So. Yeah, I mean, I did pretty well um, in my first tournament for RBO1 because I won it, thankfully, and I was able to get a Proxyamon uh, secret. So hopefully I'll be able to get that luck going on here. So like, as you can see, the cards are all very similar, and then it will go into the Ghost Game stuff, which then goes into the Gamma. Oh, actually, this other Gamma, another promo, and in this case, it's the Rice Greymon. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. I actually... Do I need another Rise Grey? I think I actually just need one more. So shout outs to getting a full play set of the box, of the, of the box, um, of the card. So let's now go into this one, which is going to be the Devimon, Kind of Potential, Labra, Holy Flame, Kaiser Nail, Demi Mera, Espy, Lamort, Tesla, Nokia, 
Rulee and a Nidhoggmon. Wow, kind of disappointing pulls. I mean, these are not from booster boxes, obviously, so they're not, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? They're not, you know, guaranteed to have all arts in it or anything like that. But uh, it would obviously be nice to get an alt art. It would make these boxes worth. Uh, actually, to be fair, the the alt art. Um, oh, I need one of these actually. Oh, another Omni one. I think that's my fourth uh, from this set. But uh, the the memory boost that they're up at the moment seem to be taking all the value of this set, anyways. So it seems to be doing good that way. So let's open up this one now as well. Hopefully, don't damage. Okay. So there we go, throw this to the side, get this promo card out. Uh, I think this one is actually very, very nice. Love the artwork on that. Instead of this, sus, sus. Um, and this time we get a Vidramon. I just wish these had flat bottoms. Maybe I can remove the flat bottom, the bottom to make it flat, but uh, yeah, it's definitely very frustrating. I don't know why they just don't make it flat. It would make it so much more nicer as a memory counter. But you know what Bandai's like. They don't like people. So <laughs> uh, let's go into these four packs. Um, what am I looking for? I still haven't got an Amphimon from this set, so I'd love an Amphimon. But uh, an Alt Art or anything like that would be nice as well. A Secret, I'll take a Secret as well. So uh, maybe a Magda Angemon. I'm actually still looking for Magda Angemon, so. Holy Flame, Zhao, Lobo, Kaiser, Aguni, Toy, Jelly, Beta, not Beta, Gamma, Tame, Devi, and yep, I thought I'd be able to avoid it, but clearly not. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go into the next pack. Okay, so, Jack's Raid. No, there's no point. Let's just go to the end, which is going to be a blue memory boost. There's no point because I've already done a massive two box opening on the channel. So if you're looking for a typical rundown of the packs, uh, you can look at it there. But at the moment, I mean, there's nothing really else other than the, uh, the back card. So in this case, it's going to be a green memory boost. Oh dear, this is, this is, like I said in the previous video, like I don't like the fact that you can get these memory boosts in the pack as is, especially as the alt art ones are now just um, part of a promo product essentially. So seems a bit stupid to me in my opinion, but hopefully, and I mean, really I do hope that this card is gonna be a good one at the back, but what should be a memory boost? Yep. <laughs> so what, that whole, so that, that those four packs were all memory boosts. So, yep. So I mean, I'll go over it very quickly. So I've got the black memory boost, blue memory boost, yellow memory boost, green memory boost, then Omni, Nidhogg, Rise, and a Lilith. And then obviously for our promos for the box, we also got yellow and green memory boosts. So I've opened up two Digimon Adventure boxes now, and I must say my pulls have definitely uh, soured my taste of this set. Just feels bad when one of your boxes is completely full of memory boosts and not the old art ones. So it um, doesn't feel great, but um, I think these are products that are gonna sell anyways, just due to the fact that people want the old art memory boosts and they seem to be going for quite a lot on the secondary market. So I guess that's, uh, some interest in uh, getting this as well. So let me know what you all think about these new Digimon Adventure boxes in the comment section down below. Not very happy with them if I'm being honest, but uh, I'd like to hear you your guys' thoughts on the boxes. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.